Hi, this is Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager with EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. Today we're going to talk about component interfaces. And that's a tool that really helps you predefine how parts are going to assemble into an assembly or how something in the assembly is going to receive new models. Let's show you how that works with a simple example of a couple of bolts going into a plate. Now I want to predefine how this bolt assembles in, where it's going. The tool for doing that is in the upper right. It's called Component Interface. Brings up a nice little window that lets me predefine assembly conditions for when this bolt gets to where it's going. And I've got to give it a name. I'm going to call it Mate Underside because we're going to mate the underside of this bolt to a plate where it's going. I'm going to add a constraint to that. Grab the undersurface of the bolt as one of them. And grab the cylindrical surface of the bolt as the other condition going to accept that. Now where those show up when they're defined with a part or subassembly is in the footer under interfaces. So let's place this bolt in. Let's go to this assembly here and I'm going to place it in this lower bolt hole. When I say assemble I'm going to pick that model and lo and behold you can see in the dashboard on the upper left it changed from a manual placement to placement using that interface, it recognized this bolt model had one. So I'm going to interface to geometry on the assembly. We zoom in a little more. Let's pick the underside of that bolt. So as I click something to go on in the assembly, it highlights the cylindrical surface of the bolt. So I only had to pick references in the assembly itself. I didn't have to do that for the part. And anytime I use that bolt, I wouldn't have to do that over and over again. So can I have more than one of these conditions on a model? Maybe I want to assemble that bolt different ways. Sure. So let's go back to that bolt. We'll go back to component interface. Let's say I want to assemble this using its coordinate system instead. I'll call that coordinate place. And for my new constraint, all I'm going to pick on is the coordinate system. And that's all we'll use. Now you can see we have two of them in there. I could make either one the default by just right clicking and set default. So let's go back to the assembly and use that new condition to place it in. So I'm going to go to assemble. I'll grab that bolt again. It recognizes that we're doing interface to geometry, but instead I'm going to use that coordinate placement. Pick a coordinate system. Say OK. Now we've done this and fooled around placing things using something on that bolt, some references of, of when it gets there, is there any way we can predefine something to the plate that's going to receive it? Well, sure, let's do that. I'm going to open up that plate model, and I'm going to go to that same component interface, and we'll call this one get bolt. But instead of either placing or receiving, I'm going to say this is for receiving information. And I'm going to grab that top surface as a mate. My new constraint is that cylindrical surface. OK. Now let's go back to that assembly. Now let's place a bolt again. Now notice it's changed in the dashboard interface to interface. It recognizes both the, the part I'm placing and one of the components in that assembly have an interface condition. And where we placed it, it's got a white dot. It says, hey, here's the legal spot for you to put it. If I'd had that condition on all four of those holes, it would let me pick as many as we wanted. So I do one click, and it's there. Now I want to start assembling in a, a bolt without any conditions on it at all to show you another neat trick. So let's go and assemble something I have called Bolt 2. It doesn't have any interface conditions to it. I'm going to get it close to uh, this hole right here. And let's place it in manually. Went up a little high, so let's move that down. Let's make that coincident. And at some point, as I've done this, maybe I said, you know what, gosh, that's great. That would be great to use as an interface condition. If I right click, I can save as interface. I'll call that new condition. Say OK. Finish placing that bolt. 
Now let's grab bolt 2, the one we just assembled, and you can see there's where that new interface did. So I can predefine them ahead of time, either placing or receiving, or I can add them to models I've placed on the fly as well. Now if you have any questions about this tip or any of our other tips, go ahead and contact us at eacpds.com or leave a comment under the video right here. Don't forget you can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.